Hello, this is Taylor from Numenta. In this video, I will explain the CSV file requirements for HTM Studio and show you how to properly format your data in Excel. We will begin with a file open in Excel. HTM Studio requires data files to be in a CSV file format and meet the following conditions before adding. The CSV file should have a maximum of one header row. A header row is the first row of the CSV. The values in the header row can be anything. All other rows need to contain one and only one date and time value and at least one numeric value. It is also okay if a file does not have a header row. CSV files should have a minimum of 400 rows. HTM Studio issues a warning at 20,000 rows, but there is no maximum. You can see the number of rows in your file on the far left and by scrolling through your data. CSV files need to have at least one numeric column. You can have columns that are not in a numeric format, but at least one numeric column is needed. Text columns containing binary data are okay. You will just need to convert the binary values to numbers 0 and 1. Lastly, your CSV file should contain one and only one date and time column. These are the requirements for adding data into HTM Studio. It is important to note your CSV file must have a valid date and time column format. These formats can be found on our website at the link shown on your screen. If your data is not in one of these formats, you will need to change the format. Here, we will walk you through how to do this. In our sample data set, to change the format of the date and time column, select the column. Then in your toolbar, select Format and click Cells. In the left, we will see Categories. Select Custom. We will use the ISO 8601 format. Type the following into the type box. YYYY-MM-DD space HH colon MM colon SS period capital SSS. Then select OK. Now, you will see that your data has been formatted properly. You will also want to make sure that your data is ordered chronologically. You can change this by selecting on the date and time column again, then selecting data in your toolbar and clicking sort. You will want to expand the selection to include your entire data set. Click sort. The column you will choose is the date and time column, and the order should be oldest to newest. Then click OK. If the first row in your file is the oldest date and time, then your data is formatted properly. Remember to save your file as a CSV. Excel automatically defaults to the XLS format. Under Format, select Comma Separated Values. Save your file, then press Continue. To ensure all date and time formatting changes are saved, you will need to close the file and Excel will prompt you to save again. If you do not do this, Excel will automatically convert your date and time format to its default format when you reopen the file. Once you have saved and Excel has closed the file, the new date and time format will be saved. When you reopen the file, you will see the new date and time format has been preserved. This concludes our tutorial.